Welcome to the Guide of Movies channel. In this video, we are going to see everything about Black Panther, Wakanda forever, so grab your popcorn and enjoy. Like the idea? Then subscribe and leave your like. In 1571, the people of Yucatan fell ill due to the plague. A man found this plant and drank it with other people. The substance turned people blue and unable to breathe air. They quickly migrated to the ocean and created the Tolokan Deep Water Civilization. A woman who consumed this plant gave birth to a child named Keukeolkan. Baby grew up to be the ruler of Tolokan. When Finn died, he asked to be buried underground. Keukeolkan led the guards to the land where he saw civilization. They attacked civilization to make a way to bury his mother. One of the villagers called him Namer, which means boy without love. Shuri works in her lab trying to create an artificial heart-shaped herb to use on her brother and king of Wakanda, Chala, who is dying of an illness. Ramonda slowly enters the laboratory and announces the king's death. A year later, Wakanda has a problem with other nations wanting their vibranium. The Dora Milaje capture French soldiers trying to steal their outpost. Later, Ramonda speaks to the UN and reveals an attempt to steal from the French. He reminds the nations that even if the Black Panther is gone, they will continue to fight. The United States threatens a mine site in the ocean using a vibranium detector created by MIT student Riri Williams. They use it to find vibranium in the ocean. Suddenly, they are attacked by house rabbits who do not want them to steal their vibranium. Namer shot down the last surviving helicopter. In Wakanda, Ramonda and Shuri take to the water and mourn the year since Chala's death. They burn their mourning clothes to mark the end of mourning, although Shuri wasn't quite ready for it. Namer then arrives and manages to cross the border by going underwater. He reveals to them the existence of the Tolokan and wants their help to stop the aliens from taking the vibranium. He also explains that Wakanda isn't the only place with vibranium, Tolokan has it too. Ramonda tells him, worried about his presence. He tells them that he will kill the scientist who made the machine and that they can help him, but they will not stand in his way. Shuri and Okoye go to Everett Ross, who tells them the name and location of the young scientist, but can also give them some private information. Okoye and Shuri then go to Cambridge, Massachusetts, to find Williams. They follow him to his garage, where he reveals that he is working on an Iron Man-style armor. But the FBI is watching them. The three escape, Okoye in a car, Shuri on a motorcycle, and Williams in his armor. Suddenly, they are confronted by the Talakaneles, Atuma, and Namora. The brief encounter ends with Shuri and Williams being captured. Ross arrives on the scene the next day and meets his ex-wife Valentina, Allegra, de Fontaine. He also finds Kamoyo's pearls and hides them. Back in Wakanda, a furious queen Ramonda judges Okoye for losing Shuri, compounded by past events such as her apparently helping Killmonger when he usurped the throne and dismisses him as general. Shuri and Williams wake up in Tolokan. Namer shows sure civilization, tries to convince him of his ideals, and even gives him his mother's bracelet. However, he does not agree with killing Williams. Meanwhile, Ramonda goes to Haiti to see Nakia, who left Wakanda six years earlier. He asks Nakia to find Shuri for him. Nakia spying and tracking. He then interrupts Williams and Shuri when Ramonda talks to Namer about her plan. They return to Wakanda, but only for more torture when Namer and his men attack. They flooded the city, causing the entire war. Namer takes care of all the Wakandan vehicles before flooding the throne room with Ramonda and Williams in hand. Williams begins to drown, so Ramonda swims to save him. He manages to get Williams to safety, but drowns in the process. Shuri mourns her mother's death when Namer tells her that she is now queen. Then he and his people leave the country. 
Meanwhile, Allegra de Fontaine discovers that Ross was in contact with Wakanda all the time and has him arrested. Baku speaks to Shuri after the funeral and gives him a moral decision not to kill Namor. He then tells her that he is offering housing to the displaced Wakandans after the attack. Shuri then uses Namor's mother's bracelet to create an artificial heart-shaped grass, which finally works. He goes to the astral plane after taking it and is greeted by Eric Killmonger, who claims that they are the same. They argue a bit before Shuri claims that she killed Namor in revenge. Shuri wakes up and puts on the suit. He then descends as the Black Panther to meet Baku and the parents. As they prepare for battle, Shuri and Williams realize that they can weaken Namor by heating his body so that it cannot receive oxygen. They then make another Iron Heart suit of armor. Shuri gives Okoye a new suit of armor that also functions much like Iron Man, called the Midnight Angels. Okoye recruits Annika to his two-woman team. At sea, they lure house rabbits into a trap on board. The battle begins as Namor seems to gain the upper hand. However, Black Panther is hit by a Royal Talon fighter as he leaves the battle. Meanwhile, the Dora Milaj fight the house rabbits on board the ship, while Nakia and the others of the Jabari tribe fight those on top. Ironheart and the Midnight Angels take care of the house bunnies flying through the air. Black Panther heats the Royal Talon fighter, weakening Namor, but he begins to break in his spear. Black Panther fires his vibranium-encased blast, which blows up the entire ship and sends the two opponents to the island below. They fight some more until Namor blasts Shuri. Instead of finishing him off, he's more concerned with getting to the water before he dies. The injured Black Panther breaks free and confronts the limp Namor. He then yells Wakanda forever and sends a Talon fighter blast exploding at Namor. He catches fire when he collapses. He supports him to finish him off, but remembers his brother Chala. With those memories of the man he was, he decides to spare Namor's life until he returns to Tolokan. Namor is grateful for the Black Panther and joins them as they return to the battlefield and tells everyone to stop fighting. Black Panther then yells Wakanda forever again as the others repeat it. Williams later returns to MIT without his armor because the Wakandans do not want the conflict of allowing him to keep it. Shuri leaves for Haiti rather than challenge for the throne, which is later contested by Mbaku. Later, Namor is painting in his room when Atuma greets him. Namor assures him that their new alliance with Wakanda is beneficial. On the way to prison, Okoye rescues Ross from prison. In Haiti, Shuri meets Nakia before going to the beach, where she burns her mourning clothes, allowing her to finally mourn. Thanks for watching and until the next video.